Hello everyone. Um, I am going to show you, uh, remind you about our first day of our writing process. Um, the first thing you have to do is you have to think of a story. Now online on the learning at home, one of the things that they have given you on, I think it's the second page for writing, it says that it's important for you to write every day. And it is very important for you to write every day. Um, one of the things that I decided to do was I looked at that page and I decided that I was going to go ahead and write a story. And I wanted to go ahead and share with you my story, remind you what it is that you are expected to do um, when you write a story, and uh, show you my story as it goes on. It's really important for both parents and students to remember, we don't finish a story in one day. A story takes time. We already know that writers, authors, can sometimes take, some, take months and sometimes years to get their story written. So while we don't want it to take that long for us, we do want to take time and make sure that our story is a good one. So this is what we're going to do. I decided after looking at that page to write a story about a time I was really happy. Please remember that stories that you write don't have to be about huge events. It doesn't have to be about birthdays or holidays or Christmases or something, presents or anything like that. It can be about everyday things that just make you happy or sad or lonely or scared or whatever, whatever it is that you decide you want to um, write about. So I chose to write about something that made me happy and it is very much an everyday, um, an everyday thing. Um, my story is going to be about finding toilet paper. We started to run a little bit low on toilet paper at our house and we were starting to get a little nervous. So we needed to find some toilet paper. Well, my husband, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story of the actual story. And I'm going to tell it across my fingers like we have done at school. First, we were running out of toilet paper at home. And I turned to my husband. And I said, we need to find toilet paper. And he said, okay, we can go downtown. I have a friend who knows who knows um, that there's some toilet paper downtown. And I was like, oh no, I don't want to go downtown to find toilet paper. That's a long way. So I said, can we please, so next, can we please just try to find some toilet paper here at HEB? Can we go there first? He said, sure. So we got into his car and we're driving along. And as we're driving, I'm praying, please, please, please let us find toilet paper at HEB. I don't want to go downtown. And he's talking, he's pretty excited about going downtown. So we get to HEB and I go straight to the toilet paper aisle. No toilet paper anywhere. Every shelf is empty. I was so disappointed. So I said, can we at least stop and get a few things that we need from here before we go downtown? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we go through and we pick up some things that we need. And at the end, after we have everything that we needed, I was like, you know, can we look for Clorox wipes and just check to see if there's no more, there's definitely no toilet paper because maybe there's toilet paper now. He's like, well, sure, fine. So we walk down to see. And guess what? There were like three or four people unloading big cartons of toilet paper. I was so excited. I almost cried. I was so excited. I even jumped up a little bit and said, hey, there's toilet paper. Look, look, look. And my husband just laughed at me. So we got two rolls or two different packages of toilet paper. And I was so excited. I was like, my prayers were answered. We have toilet paper. I am so happy. So that's my story. Now I told that story then to my, um, my daughter who laughed, of course, at me, Annalise. And then that's what I needed to do. I needed to think about my story. I needed to tell my story to myself, tell my story to another person. And now my next step for today is to write my story. So that's what I'm doing.